So if you guys remember about a month ago, I played a Minecraft tutorial world, COD Zombies map, based on the one all the way back in Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 days. And today we're back on another one. Oh, we've even got the logo up here as well, the Minecraft. Let's go. The zombies are sprinting on round one. Jesus, what is it with these maps I'm playing recently that are just like, yeah, let's make you have a challenge, I guess. We have a slime on the floor. That's cool. And I'm guessing that's a soul box. Yes, it is. Oh my god, I'm almost dead already. Moderately terrifying. Okay, oh my god, how fast? Got another slime over here. All right, we'll fill this one up then. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and buy that Remington in a second. Lay down by this dead shot. All right, we can afford it now. Holy guacamole, dude. But yeah, you guys seem to really, really enjoy that previous map. So I'm excited to be playing this one. Apparently, it, well, it's a different dev. It took them about three weeks to make. I can barely even see the slime because of the zombies piling up on top of it. All right, Pew. Did the head just come right off? Oh my god, it did. What was that one song? Heads will roll or something? <laughs> oh boy. Oh god, this is this is actually really sketchy. Why are they super sprinting on round one, man? Give me a break! All right, we're good, we're good. I guess I'll go and buy Quick Revive immediately before I have a dumb down. Got a door here, can we actually go in? Oh, what was that? You must turn the power on first, double tap, I see you. Oh, just look at this map, it's gorgeous. Can we go in this room as well? Yeah, must turn the power on, all right. It looks like we have a working minecart system, potentially. I mean, we'll see but that would be pretty sick. I don't think I've seen a minecart system in any zombies map yet. All right, let's just go back to filling up the stupid soul boxes and not dying. You know, to be on the safe side, I'm going to literally train them all on round three, by the way. But like, I can't, I can't catch a break. I wonder what we're going to get when we fill the slime up. Getting quite big. Takes me back to uh, Jerry the Slime, the good old days, watching Captain Sparkles on YouTube. God, that was over a decade ago. <laughs> Where does time go, man? Oh, Max Ammo reloads our gun. Let's go. Let me know down in the comments section below, who was your favorite YouTuber to watch growing up? Or like the first YouTuber you watched. You don't have to be growing up, you know. Maybe you were an adult when you first started, but... That is one big slime. Yeah, my first two main YouTubers were Captain Sparkles and Ali A. <laughs> don't, don't judge me too hard, but yeah, Ali A was just, I was really into COD multiplayer at the time, and he was British as well, so naturally I just knew of him. Double points, middle of the round as well, huge. All right, let's see if we can get this filled up then, and not die. It's terrifying. Apparently there's a perk limit. Oh, points I got. Was that literally just 100? All right. Fair enough, it's better than nothing. But yeah, I watched a lot of Ali A, I watched a lot of Captain Sparkles, the Minecraft stuff. I was very big into Minecraft until I was about, I don't know, 14, 15 or something. Oh, a nuke right at the end of the round, perfect timing. We have a chest over here, can I actually, can I go in this? No, just there for aesthetics, all right, fair enough. I'm guessing this door is actually gonna open when we fill all the soul boxes, that's what I'm gonna assume. I know they say assume makes an ass out of you and me, but A, one can dream, one can hope. Yeah, this map is definitely not the easiest in the world, but uh, after that lethal company experience, oh boy, <laughs> anything can be better than that. Not to shit on the map, you know, it's not a bad map, it's just, God, was it infuriating for me. Just for really stupid reasons. Oh my goodness. Is that a diamond I see on the floor over there? I think, yeah, that is a diamond. Oh boy. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is... The sketchiest oh, training I've ever done in my life. Oh, go all the way around. We've got a one, one by one little bit we can go through there. Did I complete the slime? I did. I didn't get anything for it. I got literally scammed. All right, fair enough. All these doors can be opened by turning the power on. So I guess we'll work on that next. So are you telling me I can shoot this and get something or... No, there's just, maybe there's just a diamond on the floor. All right, fair play. Oh, I'm going to kill a few of you. All right, we've got one left. Perfect. What we got going on up here? We've got a button. Oh, can I, I do I have to shoot it? Button, no, okay. <laughs> just there for aesthetics, all right. I'm gonna go and open this door, but, ooh, okay. Just run. We're going through an actual, like, cave thing, which is cool. Hello, coal. Is that the old coal block or a new one? And, hey, we got power part number one. Ow, hello. That apparently doesn't work. Uh, I can't pick it up. I'm guessing we build it here then. We have an MP5 on the wall. Finally, a decent gun. Cold War Speed Cola, another slime soul box, another diamond, which I'm guessing we need a pack-a-punched gun, but oh, a, uh, a wire part. No idea what that's for. We've got the actual tutorial castle we can go in. Oh god, hello. Let's, let's not die. Ooh, infinite ammo. That would actually be perfect for right now. I'm just sit at the back and fill this up. Yeah, it's very nostalgic for me playing this map because I used to play the tutorial world on Minecraft a lot. 
Like, I just love the fact that it had so many Easter eggs and secrets. It was literally a tutorial world, meaning that you didn't have to pay for it. You could not even own Minecraft and you could go on it, which was just cool, you know? Showed the devs actually cared. Imagine if COD Zombies had the equivalent of a tutorial world. Pew, 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 pew. A time warp. All right, fair play. Uh, additional parts required. Oh, we actually craft the power at the crafting bench. I love that. Nice little attention to detail. We've got, what is this? A Uzi on the wall. Look at all the water out there. Holy moly, that goes for a while. Look at glowstone down there. Go on into the castle itself. Is this the brazen bull shield from, oh, it is from uh, Black Ops 4. Fair enough. Can we go up the ladder? We can't. Jug tucked away in the corner over here. All right, let's get down to one. I guess uh, this door is open magically. Oh, it's probably soul boxes. We can go up into the castle. No, we can't. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I I could go up here. It's not fully, fully finished, so maybe in the final product we can do that, but hey, shield part number one. Oh, there's a thing down here. What's up? Part? What's that? I don't know what part I just picked up, but it was something. We have a boat. End the game for 69, 420. Lamau. Another shield part. We have, oh my god, it's wolves. <laughs> The Minecraft wolves instead of the dogs. Ah, oh, that's neat. I like that. Snails pace slurpy. We've got custom perks. All right, fair play. I think they make a custom sound effect when you shoot them as well. Like a proper explosion. It's a creeper explosion. That's cool. I can craft the shield as well. I only had to get two parts because one of them was already there, I guess. Now we have the... BO4 shield, I love it. The one from, what map was it? Nine, I think. One thing I actually saw was the PDW over here. You know what? I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, the zombies come from up there. Ah, it's a spawn, not a, uh, a place we can go. Fair enough. All right, that makes sense. Fun fact about the PDW, though, it's probably the best point gun you can get in the entirety of COD Zombies. Seriously, no joke. Like, it's an SMG, it's on the wall, 50 ammo in the magazine, and it doesn't deal much damage at all, so it's very good for points. Like, obviously, not on Cold War system of points because you wouldn't get any points for it. We do have an insta-kill, but I kind of want to not to get it just so i can uh, get even more points you know and i think i filled up that slime or it's just disappeared i don't know but anyway can we craft the no we can't craft this yet hmm maybe we fill this soul up first and then we go all the way back to the spawn or well that what that one door was open magically so maybe we can go in there that'd be my next guess oh double points let's go now, does that just open the door completely? Oh, there's a slime hit. Was I filling it up over there when it was over here? I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> Nice job, me. I swear I have a brain. Oh, slightly off topic, but my second channel, I decided on the name More FPS Psycho just because it was originally called FP, and FP will unfortunately not come up in search terms. Someone brought it up to me, and yeah, it's a good point. Is this a pack a punch death machine? I think it is. Well, that's quite cool, actually. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, the name won't show up in search, so I decided on just more FPS Psycho. It makes sense. So feel free to go and subscribe to that if you're interested in... I'm going to upload horror games, I think, mostly, but also some nostalgic games to me, games that I love. Definitely some Plants vs. Zombies at some point, because I really want to revisit that. I've been watching a bunch of videos by... I think his channel name is RCCH. Just a bunch of, like, random Plants vs. Zombies challenges, chaos mods, things like that. Fun to go back to, you know? Oh, money drop. Let's go. Can we open this door? Nope. We still need another soul box somewhere. God knows where. I train up all the zombies. It's quite cool. We're in a castle training up zombies and stuff, though. Definitely a cool vibe. I'm going to just see if we can find a slime. Actually, I think I know where one's going to be. And I'm going the complete wrong way, but why is the quick revive icon so blurry? How have I only just noticed this? What? It's like 144p. What is that? So yeah, I'm a dumb dumb. I'm going to go all the way back because I have a feeling... Uh, first, I'm going to buy ammo for the uh, PDW because I'm kind of scared. But yeah, we're going to go... Where am I going? This way. Downstairs. I think there's a slime here. Yes. This is the last one, probably. In one of the sketchiest spots imaginable, but I will... I'll try it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is really not good, is it? This is really just not good. This is not my day. Why am I doing this to myself? Well, now I think I'm just dead. I'm going to get a reload in immediately. And just hope for the best. I'm not even going to give a fuck about the souls. I just want to kill them and just hope that I can survive. Okay. <gasps> we did it. One left. Oh, thank God. And we got a nuke as well. Oh, the zombies are stuck here. You know what? I'll, I'll kill one. I'll let them run down and I will potentially get the nuke if needed. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Oh, I should have just got the nuke. I should have just got the nuke. I should have just got it. I'm fine, actually. Nah, I'm good. This is why you should subscribe to my channel, because I make the simplest things so overcomplicated for no reason. Because I have a brain. But yeah, that's almost done. A magic door has opened. Oh, it is done. Okay, fair enough. And we got a double points too. Sweet. So this door is now open. What is up? Stamina up. Oh, and we got the, the wolf round. Okay. Well, let's just not die to these first. Nice cool model though. I love custom dog models. Uh, oh yeah, my shield broke. Let's go pick that up. Already have one. Oh, I, I do. It's just not on the bottom right for some reason. Or it's very close to breaking. But yeah, oh, look at the bookshelves and everything. We've got the pack a punch that we have to build. Oh, a part's up there. Let's go. Oh, another part's here. Okay, well, that was an easy build. I'm guessing there's a part for the power in there somewhere. So we still haven't built it, but oh, double points at the start of the round. It's my year, man. Finally, <laughs> some good fucking luck. I think these guys have the World War II zombie sound effects, but I could be wrong. Either way, we're getting so many points from shooting into them <laughs> with this PDW. Hallelujah. Like, sure, it's not killing, but hey, it is what it is. What we got over here? Time warp. I see an infinite ammo as well. Fun fact about infinite ammo. If you have like no ammo left at all and you go ahead and pick it up, it'll give you a clip. So that's nice. Little tips and tricks. Did I just accidentally end the round? No, I didn't. Okay, good. So power parts. They've got like paintings here. I'm wondering if we can run through one. That would totally be a thing. Oh, there is a... <gasps> Pack a punch part there. Okay, we got that now. How do I have the goddamn pack a punch done, but not the power? I'm gonna go for a spin of the box though. We have some custom wonder weapons. I think there's like a ray gun SMG or shotgun or something in there. We have the ray gun Mark threes, it seems as well. Oh, the zombie's stuck. <laughs> Get screwed, buddy. I'm gonna keep the FFAR. This is actually perfect. I can just idly do this. Let's go. Peacekeeper. So we got a lot of revelations guns, it seems. Oh, the zombie died out. Crap, dude. The Pharaoh, I'm good. I'm going to craft Pack-A-Punch real quick. There we go. But I can't even use it because power's not on. Actually, I think I know where it might be. Did I just not check down here enough? Is it just, just going to be tucked away in a corner? No, I'm really not seeing anything. Scanning every possible bloody corner right now. Okay, I just looked it up. Apparently, all of the parts are in front of the castle stairs. So... <gasps> oh my god, it was on there. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I'm just going to quickly run back and buy Quick Revive. How did I not see that? It was literally right on the side of the stairs as you run up. Whatever, dude. I'm killing a zombie and I'm buying or crafting the power switch. Hallelujah. Turn on the power. <laughs> Round 13. I'm making records here. We think we have time. I'm going to just say screw it. Pack a punch the FFAR real quick. All right. Gimme, gimme. The formless fear with awe. Oh, is that the Origins camo? Looking slick as ever. And uh, I need to buy Jug. Which, thankfully, it's right here. So let's just grab that real quick. Gimme, gimme. And it's... <laughs> It's also got the really shitty icon on the bottom left. Very nice. I love it. We need double tap, man. This gun is doing not enough damage for a pack a punched gun. Insta kill. All right, I can go for some knives. I mean, I asked for more damage. I guess that's uh, one way to do it. I'm going to let them break my shield. It's literally like, must be no health. Come on. Any year now? There we go. Jesus. Took ages. Oh, hello, Max Ammo. Right, new shield. So can we shoot these diamonds with a pack of punched gun? We can't. <gasps> but now we turn the power on, all of these doors have opened. So what's up? What's going on in here? We've got electric cherry. We've got a button. Can we press it now? Power's on? No. Oh, that would have been cool. But hey, anyway, this door is open. We've got double tap in here, which I will definitely take. Move out the way, zombie. Uh, what's in this one? Just a button. Press F to activate. Jump in well after activating all three buttons. Oh, okay. What is that going to do for me? I don't know. I'm assuming the last one will be... Yep, it's in here. Okay, then. Jump in the well. I'm jumping in. Oh, we got the Wonder Fizz. And then another craft... I just spawned a power-up. Oops. <laughs> Well, I'll take it. Jump in water to exit. We have a lever to clear debris for 3,000. PhD slider. And then we have a wonder fizz. And an LSAT. And galvanocles. All right, we've got some pretty solid shit going on here. In the good way. I just realized the sentence that came out was probably not <laughs> fitting for a good thing. But anyway. Mule kick. 
Mm, I'll take it, actually. 1,500 for Mule Kick. Makes it a bit more worthwhile. What are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? Deadshot? Yeah, I'll pass on Deadshot. I'm going to buy PhD. You know what? I'll pick up an L set as my Mule Kicker gun. Ooh, Snail's Pace. Okay. Go for one more. God, seeing the pixelated icons at the bottom is so dumb. Electric Cherry Shore. All right, jump on into the water. Here we go. And I'm teleported on top of the zombies. Fucking hell. <laughs> Couldn't give me a second to breathe there. So... We opened a debris for 3,000. Oh, it was this one. And it gives us the Hell's Redeemer. That is pretty cool. Okay, I won't lie. Haven't used the Hell's Redeemer in a long time. I feel like it was on so many custom maps that they just got bored of it. And now it's finally coming back, eh? All right, here we go. Charge it up. And it does infinite damage, which is nice. But it, it's just, it only kills six zombies at a time, which is very underwhelming. But I guess it is infinite ammo, so can't complain too much so i assume we probably can't get in here then but it looks like it's a magic door of some kind oh and it turns out the diamonds are just for the music easter egg so i'm kind of glad i didn't interact with them because copyright probably oh and because there's an eight perk limit we can get an extra four perk slots if we shoot these little targets so one of them i actually saw at the start of the game up there that little target i'm guessing that counts then we'll see if we can find some more around the map probably gonna be one like up there maybe overall though this has been a pretty cool map so far i like it well, what was that bonfire sale okay but you put me like on the other side of the map from the pack a punch that's quite sad <laughs> i haven't seen a bonfire sale on a zombies map in god knows how long like i'll see if i can get back there but it's mm, i don't think i'm gonna make it come on put my elsa in pretty please hey there we go bonfire sale if you don't know what it does you pack a punch for a thousand points, which is incredibly cheap. So, you know, I ain't complaining at all. I'm pretty sure it's only on the map. Is it five and classified? I feel like those are the only two that it's on. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, though. I'd love to know because I just I have no clue. I just remember it being quite a big thing back in Black Ops 1. Do we have these buttons. I'm guessing no, we can't use these. It would be really cool if they update the map and we can actually ride a minecart. That would be sick. And get rid of the red, like, disabled things. It would be nice to just... Oh, speaking of targets, there's one. Just have invisible walls instead, but I suppose it's no biggie. There we go, max ammo. And my shield has disappeared again, even though I definitely do have one. Strange. But give me stamina up by the box again. I'd love to get one of these wonder weapons. I don't care what it is, just come... Oh, a teddy fucking... Okay, fair enough. See if we can jump in one of these no It'd be really cool if they add that as an easter egg as well because in the tutorial world i think you can go behind one of the paintings and it will take you to the secret like hidden area behind the castle which is awesome so who knows i mean the person's only been working on this map for three weeks which that's just amazing to me three weeks and they've done all this like sure there's a few hitches here and there but it's got a viable ending it's got a working pack a punch it's got bonfire sales a hell's redeemer a bunch of mini side easter egg quests custom zombie models which i feel like is something so simple but a lot of maps really miss out on that it really adds to the experience surprise it's only round 17 we have phd slider i never actually used this that's a uh, slide Ooh. okay i was expecting it to explode it is it faulty? I don't think it's working. Okay, so PhD's bugged. That's another little hitch, I suppose. So where is the mystery box going to be now? Oh, it's all the way back at spawn. All right, I'll use the LSAT a bit for this round, then we'll go. Oh, oh okay, fire sale. Fair enough. I suppose that works too. Um, the zombies can only come from the tur the, the, the church, the church door entrance. <gasps> I got the Reagan shotgun. Let's fucking go. That's sick. Oh, that's cool. I haven't used this map since uh, the Hybes custom map. What was it? Uh, Mob of the Dead Root Survival or Bridge Survival? It's been a while, dude. I missed it. I think it's got custom sound effects. I don't remember it having the pew pews. That kind of reminds me of... Did anyone play... What was it? The Xbox version of, like, Laser Tag. That's what it, the sound effect reminds me of, but... Yeah, that's kind of awesome. We're going to pack a punch this immediately. So off we go. Boom, boom, boom. Nice and simple. I love when speed cola just increases your reload speed. The best thing in the world. And makes you pack a punch faster too. We haven't got a custom camo, but that's fine. It's a four round burst. I just wasted ammo, I know, but I wanted to, I immediately wanted to use it. So the only downside to the Rego Mark II and this or any burst gun really is you have to use it a specific way to utilize the ammo to its max capacity. So the Rego Mark II shoots three at a time. This shoots four at a time. So what you want to do is with the four shots, 
you want to kill four zombies because if you're only killing one, like here, I just wasted three shots there. Whereas if we shoot into this, we killed four, maybe a few more because, you know, it's a full horde. But we're min-maxing our damage potential. And oh, max ammo, let's go. So yeah, one thing you can do is you can aim at one zombie and then move your gun to the right as you're shooting and it will angle it towards zombies so you're still killing enough but if you can't do that efficiently then you know just line them all up and then shoot into them that works too just some subtle little tips that i thought might help you know kind of how my brain works when it comes to these sort of things in the back of my mind i just have all these oh there's the phd slider <laughs> So it's more like PhD Flopper, which is very intriguing. I'm just having a look to see if we can find any more of those, um, what they called symbol thingies, but, but from my brain is just fried. What, what was I thinking? These things, the targets, we have perks in here. Do we have to activate the buttons? We don't. So we can go back to the Wonder Fizz whenever we want, which is nice. I'm going to just, uh, I have to kill you. Damn it. Should we even bother hitting the box? I mean, a Thunder Gun would be nice and a, or a Wonder Woth, but... Oh, okay, I'll take monkeys. Haven't seen them in a while. Sure, why not? We've got like so many wonder weapons in this box, apparently. But yeah, I'm gonna run in the well. I'm gonna regret it because when I come back, I'm going to probably get destroyed. But we have more perk slots, so I suppose we may as well get more perks. I'll pick up dead shot, whatever. Better hip fire or whatever. You may only carry 10 perks, right? So we, we need to find two more of those symbols or the targets god i said it like five seconds ago and i've already forgotten so i'm guessing we can actually go on these which is cool can we see any targets we do a little bit of parkour oh i can't actually oh, i can get back up nice ah oh, i fell in the water whatever so yeah i wouldn't mind getting maybe widow's wine but oh snails pay slurpy when the zombies get near us they slow down i love that is it op eh slightly but i've seen more op things I, I feel like there's gonna be one hidden at the back somewhere around here oh and as always i mention this every video but the map will be linked in the description below if you want to play it for yourself pew 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 oh i absolutely love this shotgun dude such a cool yes. weapon and then the pack a punch to death machine just obliterating everything i love death machines where you can like spin the little barrel at the end before you shoot it. That's such a cool mini thing. Oh, I just realized a target might be in here. That would be a good spot for one. No, I don't see it. Maybe on a roof. Oh, Widows is over here. I didn't even realize this was <laughs> this was in this corner. Okay. Well, you know, we don't need the extra two perks, really. It's not the end of the world. The Bible ending is 69-420. So that's not too bad to get creeper explosions from ray gun shotgun dogs check in this room any targets hidden somewhere come on it'd be the perfect place for one i reckon there'll be one like in the water somewhere off in the distance which is going to be near impossible to find but hey you never know oh i got myself stuck i mean it doesn't really matter we have the most op setup possible right now i'm gonna even throw a monkey down make it even more op points oh my god we've got minecraft zombie crawlers oh that's creepy <laughs> that is actually kind of terrifying fire sale i suppose i'll spin when there's a fire sale but other than that there's not really much point like yeah a shiva <laughs> what, what would i even want to pick up maybe a ppsh and just use that kind of want to stay in the spawn just because the aesthetic is so cool i just it's, it's nice and colorful i need a drink dude i just got the shiva again man <laughs> game the boxer hates me sometimes but then again i mean i've been spinning for this shotgun on other maps for about fifty thousand points and we actually got it so I, i'm not going to complain because so we could have got the short end of the stick and it would have really sucked look at all the zombie heads just chilling over here oh my god it's like a graveyard of just heads i'm gonna throw down a monkey i love that you guys in the comments don't actually mind the whole me constantly saying pew 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 i apologize if it ever does get annoying it's just i don't know i don't have adhd but sometimes i just like to talk constantly no wonder i have a youtube channel eh but <laughs> it's just sometimes when i want to fill the silence or i feel like there should be noise i just say random shit just how my brain is wired i suppose but god this death machine is just so sick <laughs> About halfway there to the Bible ending. You know, I will, I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back and I'll go and, um, I'll spin the box once more before I leave. What we gonna get? The Shadow Claw, eh, I'm good. Cause yeah, I wanted to, oh God, I, I wanted to get a shield. That's one thing. Oh, I just spotted a, a target up there. Nice. So now we can get an extra perk. 
Oh, and we've got a max ammo. Huge. What I was going to say was I was going to get rid of the FFAR. Call me crazy, I know, but we've got the good old PDW. It'd be perfect for getting points. Look how just bad this gun is in terms of kill potential, but point potential, amazing. If we're going to double points, we're actually just, we're, we're grooving. God, the hit marker sound effects are so loud, though. <laughs> are we going to bonfire sale? I'd love to pack a punch it, but eh. I will, I'm actually going to get the nuke then. I'm going to get a repack a punch for 500 on my LSAT, which is insane. Blast furnace, sure. And I can't pack a punch the shotgun. Sad. Oh, it's only a thousand points. I really want to, but it's just, it's not as efficient to do. Oh, there's another bonfire. So <laughs> oh, now you're really tempting me, game. No, I won't do that. I won't give in. I will, I'll keep it. What perk would we want to get, though, is the question. We've got Widow's Wine, and what's the other one we could get? Trying to figure it out from the bottom left. What am I missing? Is it... No, we've got Electric Cherry. And we've got Mule Kick. We've got Speed Cola. I guess I'll just get Widows because that's like the best choice. Yeah, I really don't know. I'm, it, it must be somewhere, but anyway. That target was actually kind of hard to find, so I don't know if we'll be able to find another one. Makes sense that it would be in the castle area, though. Like, it was a pretty well-hidden one. Um... I mean, where else could it be? Logically, it'd be in this room then, right? Up on a ceiling or hidden in the back corner. Oh, oh, God, that was loud. It could be hidden behind one of these paintings. That would be a cheeky spot to put it. So maybe I'll just shoot all of them just in case. As far as I can tell, it's not in there. Maybe it's downstairs all the way out in the distance. I cannot see that. It's so bright. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, oh, maybe it'll be out on the pier, but I just... It's impossible. So we're probably about one double points and maybe another round away from getting the Bible ending, which is cool. How's your guys' day going so far? Hopefully it's good. I'm not sure when I'll be uploading this particular video. Probably the weekend, so like the 5th and 6th or whatever. I don't I don't know. I think it, is it Wednesday today. I lose track of the days. Maybe it's 6th and 7th. Let's use some of this ray gun shotgun. Pew, 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 pew. Just love that ammo is only 600 points. Just I, I make that back pretty much instantaneously, which is nice. I think that's pretty much the round done. Oh, there's a box here. All right, I'll go for one spin. I got the Wonder Waff. I mean, I could pick it up, I suppose, instead of the PDW, I guess. We're almost there. Oh, I got a new shield. I didn't even realize it broke, to be honest. It'd be funny if the last target was just in the sky <laughs> and I just somehow missed it. Oh, yes, off in the distance over there, maybe. But yeah, I mean, we can Wonder Waff it up a bit. It doesn't give us many points, but we're basically 10,000 away from the Bible ending. So, Or not even that, we're like 5,000 away. Hit them with the zappy zappy 50,000. I think we're about three hordes away from getting enough. Oh, and I think we're so close to it. Wait, no, I'm dumb. I, my maths. I, we are about 5,000 away from it still. Absolutely no idea how I butchered that one so hard, but hey, it is what it is. Let's get the last like 5,000 though with the ray gun shotgun. That's um, sliding into the action with Call of Duty Ghosts. Jesus, that was close. Thank God for Widow's Wine. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. As much as I do love this gun, it does not have enough ammo. <laughs> it goes down very quickly and it does about the same damage as a Reagan Mark II, so you're basically having the same gun for half the ammo. It's just the new aesthetic, I guess. But we officially have, after this one shot, I think, there we go, we have enough. Sweet. All right, well, Bible ending time, off we go. First, let me just uh, zap all of them, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Here we go, onto the boat. We have escaped playing extremely loud classic COD Zombies music. Hope you guys have enjoyed though. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it and I will see you in the next video.